We're down here at Red's Fly Shop today and we're doing one of our mini spay casting classes and part of the class we did today is uh, the switch rod which is becoming ever more popular. There is a total switch to the switch when it comes to steelhead fishing and uh, just to explain it to everybody, the switch rod is kind of a hybrid between a single handed rod where you would do your traditional overhand cast, maybe a double haul, um, and a spay rod where you can grab with two hands and you can rear back and really let it eat and get much longer cast. Uh, either for swinging or indicator nymphing. Uh, there's lots of trout applications for the switch rod too. Brushy canopies where you have a restricted roll cast. Um, you know, maybe you get tired of casting a big weighted stonefly nymph and an indicator, two flies and some shot, which we're all doing that and we all get tired of that. Um, the switch rod makes that so much easier and there's a big variety of switch rods out there. You can get the Loomis, TFO or Sage. Uh, the most popular one at the time being at our shop seems to be the Z-axis switch rod. It's just a dream to cast. Um, but it allows you to switch hit basically. You can go both ways. You overhead cast, you spay cast, and it makes you very versatile with one rod, especially if you're doing a lot of wade fishing. And that's where it comes into play is the anglers out there that are fishing the Yakima or the Deschutes, Medhow, Klickitat, Peninsula Rivers, any river for that matter, and they're doing it on foot. The switch rod gives you the ultimate efficiency when it comes to distance and versatility. And we're seeing a very, very strong growing trend in the sales of switch rods and how many people are out there using them. Uh, you can do all the same traditional spay casts you do with a two-handed rod, and we're going to demonstrate a few of those. And then when you need to, in certain situations, you can pick up and throw a short little tip cast, just overhand them, and it's very comfortable to throw. And uh, a lot of people ask, and, and hopefully... I can answer this for a few people is why not just use your spay rod and cast it a little bit overhand and then indicator nymph with it. Spay rods don't overhand cast unless you're Hulk Hogan. Um, they're really heavy, they're really chunky, the lines are heavy, they just don't work like that and they also don't feed line very well which is probably the most important element because you can still roll cast with an indicator and then try to feed line. If you've ever tried to feed line with a spay rod, it doesn't work so good. But the switch rod's great. It's much more like a single hander. The taper's very friendly for that. Uh, but we'll show you a few casts here and uh, hopefully educate you on what a switch rod can do for you. Okay, so you can do all the same traditional spay cast that you do. Let's say I'm out here on the river and I'm going to swing a few flies. Even with this little switch rod, you can take and throw your traditional snap feed and you can shoot quite a bit of line. You can shoot quite a bit of line with these switch rods. Not to the capacity you can with a full on two handed rod. But you can throw your snap tee, and you can, you can blast that fly out there about as far as you want to go. But the upside is, when you're ready to change directions, and you're going to throw overhand and maybe throw a few nymphs, you can actually take this same rod, turn around and double haul it, and this is a light enough rod that you can actually take and fish a dry fly upstream if you wanted. And then maybe if you have a restricted back cast, immediately turn around and do some spay and roll techniques. Do spay and roll techniques to throw that fly upstream any direction you want. 